there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com here with another Vintage Jewelry Haul video. Ooh, it's all jewelry this time and it's a lot of jewelry. This is a very big uh, lot that I bought from eBay and uh, with shipping and taxes and everything it was a little over $200 so it was a, a pretty big purchase. But I think I got some neat stuff. I'm, I'm hoping that I got my money's worth. There's, there's quite a few interesting interesting pieces. So I don't have these in any particular order. I just laid them out on this table and um, so I'll just get started. item is a plastic rosary so that is not not super exciting but I'm just going to show you everything uh, this is a much nicer rosary it has this uh, very ornate crucifix and these are uh, ooh, that one's that pearl didn't look in good shape but in fact none of the pearls look in great shape so maybe this is not great but it's a, a rosary with some distressed pearls Kind of wire wrapped. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe I'll craft with that one. Uh, okay. Then we have this uh, brooch, which is like faux turquoise and coral. It looks fairly modern, and uh, I don't uh, see any kind of a mark on it, but it appears to be in nice condition. And this is. Um, it is a pendant brooch and it is Avon. I've had this exact piece before, I think. It may have had different colored stones, but the design was the same. That's very cute. And then, this is a super fun piece. Great big old rhinestone prong set. Um, it does look like it could be Juliana but I don't know that for sure. But it's very nice, nicely done, good condition. And uh, this is a kind of a standard uh, 1950s leaf brooch with some faux pearls. And it is not marked, but it appears in good condition. And uh, this is another 1950s or mid-century, might be 60s, unmarked leaf pearl brooch. This seemed to be a very popular theme in the late 50s to early 60s, it's leaves and pearls. And this is a cute little brooch. Uh, it is marked made in Taiwan, has a little safety pin clasp riveted construction. It is really cute. It has a problem in that it's missing the little ball decoration from the end of that. Um, so I probably will craft with that unless I can like cut this off up here with wire cutters where you won't be able to see it. And then it'll just, you know, it'll just look like that. And then it will be okay. And this is a little bird, rhinestone bird with a red eye, uh, maybe a pheasant. He is missing a couple of stones. And he's not marked, so this may go into the craft, craft box. And uh, this is an Art Deco style brooch, but I believe that it is a retro piece don't think it's genuine 1930s or 40s. Uh, it's not not marked. Just has a look about it that looks newer. 
and it's got a couple of darkened stones. So I probably will craft with that also. These are super adorable little dangled daisy earrings. They have an old style clip. These are enamel on metal and they're a little bit distressed. But they're so cute. I just love these. Um, I might be able to touch them up with nail polish or something. But those are adorable. Um, I'm guessing those are maybe early 1960s. Kind of have a little bit of a mod look to them. Whenever I see daisies, it makes me think of my sister Jean. She loved daisies back in the 60s, and she probably still likes them. Okay, so this is a faux coral rose brooch, and it is a Joan Rivers. Let's see, right there. Pendant and brooch. So that's nice. Joan Rivers jewelry always does really well. And uh, we have some more faux coral. Sorry, this red um, tissue paper is really throwing off the color. Um, these are nice little uh, button clip-on earrings. They are Trafari. Uh, I would say late 50s to early 60s. They're nice. This is a pretty little bracelet. It looks, you know, I would have thought that it was Goldette. It has a kind of a similar look to Goldette jewelry, but it is not marked. But it's nice. No missing stones. Pearls are in pretty good shape. So, yeah, that's a nice one. And this is something a little different. This is a Native American style, handmade, beaded bracelet with leather, possibly deer skin. Does that say something? Uh, I don't know what that says. It seems to have a purple stripe on it. I don't know what that means. But I think that would be hidden when you wore it. What does that say? Does that say something? Made, oh, it does say something. Made in, oh, I'll have to see if I can figure out what that says. Huh. Anyway, it's cute. But if it's, you know, made in India or something, then it's not exactly Native American, is it? I'll have to check. And this is a cute mid-century rhinestone bracelet with a leaf motif. See, it's got that nice riveted construction. Nicely made, good condition. I don't think it's I don't think it's marked. But that's a lovely little piece. And we have here a couple of cloisonne bangles. Always popular with me anyway. I love cloisonne. Um, it's nice if you can put a, a lot of them together, make a stack. They, they sell better that way than trying to sell them individually. So if I have any others lying around, I might try to make a stack. Otherwise, I'll probably just list those two together. Um, this is possibly Bakelite. I haven't tested it yet, but it's nice marbled look to it. Little bangle. This is a beautiful cuff. Um, I think this might be silver plate. I'm not sure. It's pretty heavy, but it's got some nice metal work on it. With these applied leaves and flowers. Looks like it could have been made in India, but there's, uh, I don't think there's any markings on it at all. But anyway, that's quite nice. 
Okay, we have enamel blue and green um, hinged bangle bracelet. I don't think it's marked. That's nice, nice condition. I really think this is attractive. It's a um, memory wire type bracelet this with faux coral, but it's just really nicely done. It has these little chain tassels on the ends. And um, yeah, I really like that one. I don't, I'm not sure on the age on that. It's nice. And we have an enamel cuff bracelet with this kind of a almost floral design in the middle. It's kind of different and interesting. Then we have a couple of faux turquoise pieces. We have this cuff bracelet. It has kind of a um, what do you call those? Flowers. I'll think of it in a minute. And uh, and there's this little um, kind of a Zuni style needlepoint pendant necklace, not silver, not turquoise, but attractive. Those would look cute together. Now this appears to be. Um, Okay, I've lost the word. Okay, we'll come back to that. It'll come back to me in a minute. Okay, let's um, let's do some shifting. And get blue over here. Okay. So this is a kind of a Victorian style hinged bangle, but it's not Victorian. It is. Sorry, motorcycle. It is um, Sarah Coventry. Is that what that says right there? Yeah, that says Sarah Cove. Right there. Um, nice little hinged bangle with the faux engraving on it. And this is an unusual one. These appear to be like lucite nuggets, lucite gold nuggets, surrounded by rhinestones. It's a clamper, and it is not marked. Okay, hold on one second, and I'm going to get some more. Okay, we're going to come back to this one. Cinnabar is the word I was looking for. Um, this is it. Really, it looks like cinnabar. I think it is, but it is on a stretch bracelet, a very strong stretch bracelet. I think that these little pieces might be silver, so this may be restrung. Um, but it's... I don't know, it's really pretty. Um, okay, so that's that for that one. This is a super sweet little, little delicate chain with this rhinestone ball at the center. And uh, this one I think is also a Sarah Coventry. Yes, it is. That's that's a real nice classic look. And this is a Trafari. And I think it may be one of the well-known designers that did this, um, whose name is slipping my mind at the moment, along with everything else. Um, Alfred, somebody. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, I think this is one of his designs just looks like it. This is probably 1950s, uh, like early 1950s, because I think that the mark does not have the copyright symbol yet. It says 
Trafari patent pending on the clasp. So, that's a nice one. No missing stones or anything. And this is a religious medal. It's got grown up Jesus on that side and then Mary and baby Jesus on the other side. It's got a peace dove. And it's plain on the back. There's no writing on it anywhere. But it's kind of nice. And then this is a sweet little locket with a faux carved coral stone at the center. And then it's got this dove that appears to be in the wrong place. He's like hanging down the back, which is just wrong. It's just wrong. So I'll have to move him. He's supposed to be dangling in the front, I think. But the, this is the locket. Like that. And this is not old. Because it has a lobster clasp. It's probably 1980s, 1990s. But it's awfully cute. Then this one also meant to look old, but it's not. It is a 1928 brand jewelry, which I just love, because they really have a, a, an attention to detail. Look, look at this chain. Isn't that beautiful? That's very nice. But it's, it's got the little 1928 hang tag here. Here. Somewhere. Somewhere. There you can see it. That's a lovely little piece. And this is fun. This is probably a mid-century lucite jewelry. Unusual design on that. I've had I had another piece that was real similar to this. I, it seems like maybe it was on copper, but it was these like kind of chevron-shaped lucite pieces against metal. And I don't believe this is marked anywhere. But it's really fun. And this is a reverse carved rose glass pendant. It's in great shape. Uh, Hallmark Cards jewelry. I guess if Hallmark Cards can make ornaments, they can make jewelry. I don't know when that dates from, maybe 1970s. And this is a carved bone necklace featuring elephants. And this was probably done in India. It's a nice one though. It's got a barrel clasp, it's probably 1960s maybe. And this is a really pretty multi-strand, kind of lumpy glass beaded necklace with this cute crochet and button clasp. I don't know where this would have been made or when, but it's adorable. That's really neat looking. And this is a beaded necklace with pearls and that is, I think that's probably a venturine. I'm not 100% sure, but barrel clasp. Possibly made in India. And this is a, a very nice um, mother of pearl. And I'm not sure what these. Maybe they're coral. They look like they could be coral. Yeah. Uh, and um, this part of the necklace is silver, I think. Is this the one that's silver? Let me see. Yes, it is marked 925. It is made in China. So I'd say that's a fairly modern, but um, but it's very nicely done. It's it's gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to move this one out of the way and bring this next one in.
Got a little bit of silver jewelry here. Uh, these are probably Native American. They are signed. I have not looked up the name yet. It's not one I'm familiar with. Uh, but these are sterling silver, turquoise, mother of pearl, onyx, and um, malachite. And these are signed. See right there. And that says um, J. No. Hold on. What does that say? It says C.S. Lon Jose. Or Lon Jose. I, it's not one I've heard of, but it's very pretty. I like these. these super cute little earrings. And then we have um, one other piece of sterling silver and turquoise jewelry. This is Native American style. I say that because it is marked WM for Wheeler. I think it's Wheeler Manufacturing. Um, they were like, a, they were kind of like Bell Trading Post, like a Western jewelry maker. Um, sometimes actually Native American made and sometimes not, but the company itself is not. So you can't really call this Native American jewelry unless you know for sure who the designer is. But it's very pretty. Little ring. I've got a bunch of other rings, so I'll just show those to you. Where's this one? Okay. Um, oops. This appears to be an older, probably costume ring. It's probably glass, but it is like a faux topaz. And I think this is probably an Uncas ring. It has a mark on the band, but it's super, super worn, and I can't read it. But um, it, the style looks like it very well could be an Uncas, U-N-C-A-S. Um, that's a really collectible brand from the, what, 20s and 30s, maybe 40s. I forget exactly the years, but um, yeah, that's a neat one. And we have a couple of um, glass, like art glass rings. These are so interesting. Especially like this one, kind of a mid-century modern look to it. Um, but those are fun. I've never really had those before. This is another ring, sterling silver with a um, abalone shell. Just says 95. So don't know much about that, but it's pretty. And then um, this is just, uh, well, just, I say, I think that that is possibly real opal, possibly real tiny diamonds, very tiny. Uh, it's just so beautifully made. It's hard for me to believe anybody would go to the trouble to make fake diamonds so tiny. But it has happened before to me. I've thought that before, that very thing. Um, the band is... Sterling. Oh, and it's marked um, Havana. I don't, I'm probably not going to be able to see that. Right inside the band right there. It says Havana. I don't think that means Havana, Cuba. I think it's just a brand. It's nice. And then this one, I think, is strictly costume. I don't think any part of it is real. But it's pretty and blingy. Um, and I'll show you this. This is not strictly jewelry, but kind of qualifies with all these sparkly stones. This is a comb holder, comb case with a comb in it. Um, it has a couple of missing stones, but it'll be easy to replace because with all these different colors, I can just put any colors in there that I happen to have that fit, so that shouldn't be a problem. And this is the comb, clear plastic Home. This part right here is Mother of Pearl. And then it has a mirror on the back. Isn't that cute? It says USA on the comb. I'm guessing that's about a 1950s 
everything. And we have this gold Austria brooch. Usually jewelry from Austria has crystals in it, but this one doesn't, but it just, just says made in Austria. But it's nicely done. It's in really good condition. And um, this is a pretty, uh, I don't know what these beads are. They Could they be coral? They could be coral. They could be glass. They have some little, like, black marks on them, though, that make me think they're not glass. And it's got this fun box clasp with this little pattern of embossing on it. I don't think this is marked in any way, but it's really cute. Uh, go ahead and show you these. I have a couple of watches. Um, this one is oops, upside down. This one is a Gucci knockoff, I'm sure. I'm not going to get a real Gucci watch in a boxed lot off of eBay. But it probably just needs a battery. I'm not going to sell that because you can't sell knockoffs on Etsy or eBay. So maybe I'll wear it. I need a watch. I, I break watches on a regular basis and I don't have one right now. I like having a wristwatch. Even though you can always check your phone, it's easier to check your watch. And this, really, I don't know anything about. That brand is Rovendino. Is that what it says? Rovendino. You can tell I don't know anything about designer brands. Um, I suspect this is also a knockoff. But it's really, it seems like it's a really good quality. And it says Swiss Movement. And it says, says Aristocrat 2011 M Rovendino Swiss. Well, it doesn't say anywhere made in China. So if it is a knockoff, it's a very, very illegal one. But anyway, um, it's pretty. I would definitely wear this. The band is way, way, way too big for me. I would have to get it sized, but it's, it's, you know, it's got a few little signs of wear on the band, but other than that, it's in nice shape, and I think it's pretty, so I'm going to keep that. Okay, we have some cameo jewelry. This, I believe, is a plastic cameo, but it's pretty, nice design on a nice chain, nice heavy chain, I I don't believe this is marked. Looks to be possibly a 1960s. And then we have some little cameo earrings. And these are real cameos. Little, little carved heads. Little tiny ones. Little clip-on earrings. I don't think these are marked either. Those Maybe I'll sell those together, even though one's fake and the other two are real. They look good together. And these are some nice, good quality clip-on earrings. And they are Alice Cabanus. Got some, some wear on the clips, but the fronts look really good. Um, Alice Cabanus is a, is a good brand. I've had it before. I had no trouble selling it. But those are pretty. And here's some more clip-ons. Like a faux amber. And I don't believe these are marked. Some more earrings. These are some black glass with surrounding rhinestones. These are uh, lever backs, which I really like lever backs because they're a little safer. I'm so bad about ear about uh, losing earrings. I lean over, they fall out and I don't even notice. So I like this type. 
might keep them. Uh, this is a lovely little matching set. This is Weiss, I believe, and it is gold filled. There's the little tag right there. And it has some little screw back earrings to go with it. I'm guessing this is about 1950s. Um, I'm assuming that those stones are glass. I, I suppose they could be chalcedony. I don't think so, though. They're too perfect. But they have kind of a glow to them. Those are really sweet. And then we have a sterling silver bar pin with a pearl. I think that is a real pearl. And some marcasites. And I think it's just marked sterling on the back. I don't think there's a maker's mark. But I think this is an older, like maybe 1940s. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, this is a fun set. Now this, I think if I'm not mistaken, this is made with glass and opal flakes. If you, if you look under magnification, the flakes do appear to be opal, but I, <laughs> it's really neat. And it is, in, it's set in sterling silver, that's a beautiful ring, but I have a whole suite of jewelry that goes with it. And I have this bracelet not too old because it fastens with a toggle clasp, but it is also sterling silver. Then we have this um, necklace. It's really pretty. It fastens with a hook. And that's marked 95. And then lastly, we have a pair of earrings. No maker's mark, but they are all marked sterling. And I think I'm probably, I probably will sell the earrings and the necklace together. And then I will sell the ring and the bracelet each separately. Even though I hate breaking up sets, this is not an antique set, so I don't mind so much. These are just absolutely adorable. Little like ladybug earrings. Pretty blue stones. And then Aurora Borealis stones on the wings what the backs look like. They're little wire earrings and they are not marked, but they are just adorable. I can't believe these aren't marked. They're just so annoying to me. But I don't see any marks on them. But those are super cute. And we have another bracelet. A bunch more bracelets, in fact. But we are getting near the end. Don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I do lots of these haul videos as well as my uh, weekly vlogs where I show you what I'm listing, what I'm selling, and what I'm eating, and my art, and my cat. Speaking of which, she was down here a minute ago, but she's made herself scarce now, so oh well. But this is a very pretty pink rhinestone bracelet. And let's see. Oh, yes. This is marked China. But it is 95. It is gold colored. Great condition. That's really a stunner. Made in China or not. It's beautiful. Uh, this 
probably is like a QVC or Home Shopping Network bracelet. I think it's probably sapphires. And there are some tiny gold chips. But not in all of the links. Just like there's three that have chips and then the rest just have metal. <laughs> and the chips uh, don't look terribly high, high quality. So, But still, that's a pretty little bracelet. And I think this is probably marked, also marked... Um, Well, it's marked DBJ95. So, um, I don't know who that is. And we have this bracelet. And this one is marked Citizen which I assume is the watchmaker, because this looks a lot like Citizen watch bands used to. Maybe still do. But it's a bracelet with a little rhinestone row. It does have, I think, just one tiny little stone is missing. So, if I decide to replace that, it shouldn't be a big issue, unless I just don't have one quite that small, but I think I do. And then this is a mesh, a little uh, glass cabochon bracelet. It's quite nice. Looks like it's mid-century. I love this decorated clasp. And I believe this is a Sarah Coventry. No copyright symbol. I don't know, does Sarah Coventry use copyright symbols? But anyway, this, this looks older. Just looks older, but I don't know for sure. To do a little research on that. And then the last, this is the last one. This is a scarab bracelet. Panel bracelet. These are real gemstones. Like, well, I don't know if that's Jake, but like onyx, chalcedony, maybe. Uh, is that tiger's eye? Yeah, that's tiger's eye. Not sure what the blue one is. But anyway, they are real stones. And it is gold filled. And it is marked, yeah, 120th 12K. GF, and it is Amco is the brand, A-M-C-O. I think that's a mid-century brand. But isn't that pretty? I really like that one. I mean, I like scarab bracelets in general, but that's a really nice one. Chunky. Okay, so that is it, and these items are, or soon will be, for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. And I already told you about liking and s signing up, subscribing. So uh, I guess I'll just leave you with that then. Goodbye.